Sometimes in a safari, a small observation turns into a big conversation. Today's video is just like that. Have you ever noticed that the wild water buffaloes doesn't have any upper front teeth? But what they do have is a leathery callus flat area called the dental pad or a browsing pad. So how do they feed? They circle their tongue around the grass to grasp them. Then they pinch the grass between their lower incisors and the dental pad. Then they use the lower incisors to cut the grass and they take the food into the mouth cavity. After the food is inside the mouth, with the assistance of the dental pad, they grind the food briefly and swallow. They have this adaptation to collect large amounts of food when they have the opportunity. So if you're wondering, don't they chew the food at all? Well, they do, thoroughly. This is when the unique characteristics of their digestive system come into play. Ruminants have a four-chambered stomach in their digestive system. Let's get some visual aid, shall we? These are the four chambers. Rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. Then they have the esophagus and the intestine, quite similar to us. First, the food is taken into the mouth, and as mentioned earlier, after a brief grind in the mouth cavity, it is taken to the first chamber known as the rumen. The food is acted upon by microorganisms and fermentation takes place and it also acts as a temporary storage. Small quantities of this half digested food is then sent to the second muscular chamber, the reticulum. Afterwards, the food is sent to the mouth cavity to be thoroughly chewed again, where it is broken into smaller pieces and mixed with saliva. This process is called ruminating or in casual terms, what we know as chewing the cud. The chewed up cud is swallowed again, where the bigger particles are sent back to the rumen to try again, and the smaller particles are sent to the third chamber known as the omasum. This is where the food is broken down to even smaller pieces. The excess water and some nutrients are absorbed. The final stage of the digestion process takes place in the fourth chamber, the abomasum. There the food is acted upon by enzymes and acids to be broken down into simpler substances. The food enters the small intestine to absorb the nutrients. That concludes the digestion portion in the four stomach chambers. Now why do they have this complex system? The advantages are with the system, the animals can break down and absorb nutrients from even the toughest fibrous plant material. Also, the microbes in the rumen can synthesize vitamins such as vitamin B complex and vitamin K. They also synthesize proteins. The disadvantages are, however, a lot of gas is produced in the fermentation process. This is a complex process and it doesn't always go smoothly. When the gas is not absorbed readily, it leads to bloating. And if you were wondering, the other ruminants in the Sri Lankan wilderness are the members of the deer family. Spotted deer, samba deer, barking deer and hog deer. And then there is the interesting case of the mouse deer or shavitan. They have four chambered stomachs, but the third chamber is poorly developed. So what they have is called a primitive ruminant form. All members of the deer family and the two members of the Sheraton family lack upper incisor teeth, much like the buffaloes. Well, there you go. A small piece of information turned out to be a big video. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.